Uh, if you'll do us a favor, just kind of fill out our little connection cards that you got in your bulletin, drop it in the, in the baskets on the way up when you receive communion. That'd be fantastic for us. We'd love you to do that. Um, we have out, just right outside the doors here in the, in the ministry hallway, we have a bunch of ministry teams that are there represented. There's a little box that has some little papers next, underneath it. It's kind of a birthday gift. You'll, probably, you'll see it in the bulletin, but just to kind of let you know what that is. Uh, since we've just gotten done with our discipleship drive and we're you know, taking that next step, it's just another way for us to give another little birthday present to, to Jesus. So if you are able to write down what you'd like to do to take another step, drop that in the box there. It's kind of a birthday gift for Jesus for next year. It's kind of a, a fun little way to do that. You can do it with kids, grandkids, all that thing as well. So um, great. Christmas Eve, it's coming up, right? Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't know. It's, it all, Tuesday, okay. I'll come Tuesday. <laughs> Don't want to be a day late. Um, so we still have a few cards left in the pews. I believe there were some of the Christmas cards. So if you've got those and you want to invite some folks, please do that. But uh, it's uh, the last chance to grab and invite them. And finally, the newsletter did go out. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it should have gone out online this week. It came in your one call. Uh, we do have a few paper copies that are available at the Welcome Center if you need, need those. But because it was just so close and it came with all the holidays and that, we just went, we did it online. So give us some feedback on that. We may look at doing that a little more often uh, as far as an, an online version of, of our Trinity Talk and then have a few available for those who actually like to, to use paper. So I'm still a newspaper guy myself in a, in a book. But, um, so yeah, please, please do that. But just wanted to let you know we have those available. All right. I'm going to ask... Barbara Park to come on up. She has a presentation that she'd like to do for one of our members. And so you are on, Good morning. Good morning. I'm, hi, I'm Barbara Park and I'm a church member of the orchestra and also I do coffee. Yay. I'm, Yay. I'm also regent of the Harbor Grace chapter of the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution which has been around for over 100 years. The major goals of the DAR are, are to promote patriotism, education, and historic preservation. To work towards these goals, each chapter member volunteers in community service, but also our chapter is tasked with recognizing those in the community, the non-DAR members, who um, volunteer in a role and have contributed outstandingly to the good of the community. Mary Lou Roberts, will you please come up? <laughs> Mary Lou is receiving this award for establishing and maintaining the Edgewood Lakeview Community Sidewalk Sunday School. This after school activity is for children of ages kindergarten to middle school and meets once a week. And I've been told the children really look forward to that day and to Mary Lou. Pastor Ed. They really look forward to Pastor Ed. Well, <laughs> I was told you, you, and you knew everything. <laughs> so for the past 11 years, Mary Lou has been volunteering, not only with the Sidewalk Sunday School, but also supplying school supplies, Christmas gift, gift cards, paper and plastic for snack time. And if that's not enough, she finds ways to get donations for baby furniture, car seats, cribs, high chairs, and um, helps in other ways like getting warm coats for families. Her passion for helping others knows no bounds. Our Mary Lou is a dynamo and a powerful force in young lives living in a Christian setting. So for your support and, and activism to Edgewood Sidewalk Sunday School, we thank you. It is my pleasure to present you with the DAR Community Service Certificate. If I can get it out of here. And she gets, she gets to keep the bag, too. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to say anything? Um, yes. Uh, I 
would like to thank everybody in this congregation because without you, I would not be able to do what I do. So thank you so much for your generosity, always. Because I have no budget. And so if I want to do something special for the children at Sidewalk Sunday School, I need to ask for your help. And you're always there to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. with her on a, on a weekly basis as well. So.